we are going back to our chemistry class. The continuation of our writing and balancing of chemical equations. Today, we are going to be looking at the use of simultaneous equation method to balance chemical equations. Sometimes, some equation might sound funny, might look difficult to get by inspection. In this case, we have to make use of the simultaneous method. Now, example one. Determine the values of x, y, and z in the following equation. Now, we are going to say left and side equals to right and side. The elements in the left hand side, we have hydrogen, then we have oxygen. Likewise, right hand side, hydrogen and oxygen. So we now say how many hydrogen we have here? We have two. Two multiplied by x. 2x. How many hydrogen we have here? We have 2. 2 multiplied by y, we have 2y. Then, how many hydrogen here? We have 2. 2 times z, 2z. How many oxygen? We have 1. 1 times z, we have z. Now, the next thing is we assume. Assume the first letter. Assume the first letter to be equal to a unity. That is 1. So, x equals to 1. We assume x to be equal to 1. So we now say A for hydrogen, 2x equals to 2z for hydrogen. 2x is equals to 2z. Don't forget, s equals to 1. So we have 2 times 1 equals to 2z. So 2 times 1 is 2 equals to 2z. Divide both sides by these two. Our z equals to 2 divided by 2 equals to what? 1. So z equals to 1. Don't forget our x is equals to 1 already. Now, we are, we've gotten our x, we've gotten our z, you mean y. So come to this oxygen. Oxygen, that is 2y, is equal to z, that is 2y, is equal to our z here. What do we get? We have 1. To get my y, I have to divide both sides by this 2. So y equals to 1 over 2. Then we now come here and say we have x ratio y. I think x, y, z, then ratio z. What's our x? From here we have 1, ratio. Our y, we have 1 over 2. Our z, we have 1. The SCM here is this 2. So multiply everything by 2. Multiply the numerator by 2, by say over 1 here, over 1 here. So the SCM of 1, 2, 1 is 2. So let us multiply the numerator by 2. I multiply the numerator by 2, I'm going to have 2 times 1 over 1, 2 times 1 over 1, ratio 2 times 1 over 2, ratio 2 times 1 over 1, so 2 cancel 2. 2 times 1 over 1 give us 2, 1, 2 times 1 over 1 give us what? 2. Our x, x is 2. Y is 1, Z is 2. So when we write this equation, we're going to have X, that is 2H2, plus Y is 1, O2, to give us Z is 2 from here, 2H2O. Now, how many hydrogen do we have here? 2 times 2, we have 4. Hydrogen here, 2 times 2, we have 4. How many oxygen we have 2? Oxygen here, we have 2. So this equation is balanced. Example 2. Determine the values of x, y, and z in the following equation. As we did in the first equation, we have left and side equals to right and side. So we have the elements potassium. We have chlorine. We have oxygen. Like we have the elements potassium, chlorine, oxygen. Now, how many potassium do we have here? We have 1. 1 times x, we have x. How many chlorine? 1. 1 times x, we have x. Oxygen, we have 3. 3 times x, we have 3x. Likewise, here, potassium, we have 1. 1 times y, y. Chlorine, 1. 1 times y, y. Oxygen, 2. 2 times z, 2z. So, let us now compare. For potassium, let us assume first. Assume 
the first letter to be unity, S equals to 1. You can assume any, let any letter to be unity when you are comfortable with that. But I'm comfortable with the first letter, let it be equals to a unity. Now for potassium, X is equals to Y. So anywhere I find my S, I put 1. 1 equals to Y. So my Y equals to 1. I've gotten S, I've gotten 1. Then now, I don't need to look for chlorine because this is X and Y. I've got it both of them. Let me move on to oxygen. Oxygen, 3X is equal to 2Z. So 3 multiplied by my X equals to 1 equals to 2Z. So 3 is equal to 2Z. Divide both sides by these two. Z is equal to 3 over 2. So from here, we find the ratio. X, ratio Y. Ratio Z. Our X is 1. Ratio my Y is 1. Ratio my Z is 3 over 2. So let's say over 1, over 1. The SM of 1, 1, 2 equals to what? 2. So multiply the numerator by 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 1 over 1. 2 multiplied by 1 over 1. 3 multiplied by, that is, sorry. 2 multiplied by 3 over 2. These two cancel 2. 2 times 1 over 1, we have 2. 2 times 1 over 1, we have 2. 3. So, x is 2, y is 2, z is 3. So, if I should remove this x, I put my 2 here. Move this y, I have my 2. Move this z, I have my 3. Now, how many potassium do we have here now? 2. How many? 2. How many chlorine do we have here? We have two. How many chlorine? We have two. How many oxygen? Two multiplied by three, making six. Oxygen here, three times two, six. Balance. Example three. Determine the values of W, X, Y, and Z in the following equation. Now, the next thing is, let's for the left and side. We equals to right and side. Now, what are the elements that we have here? We have carb carbon, we have hydrogen, we have oxygen. Mm -hmm. uh, likewise, in the right hand side, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Now, how many carbon do we have here? We have four. Four times W, four W. How many hydrogen we have? Eight. Eight times W, eight W. How many oxygen we have? Two. Two times S, we have two X. To the right hand side, how many carbon? One. One times Y? Y. How many hydrogen? Two. Two times Z? Two Z. How many oxygen we have here? Two. Two times Y? We have two Y. Plus oxygen here we have one. One times Z? Z. Let us now compare. Don't forget, before, before then, you are going to assume, assume the first letter here, W, to be equal to a unity. One. Now for carbon, 4W is equal to Y, that is 4 times 1 is equal to Y, Y equals to 4 times 1, 4. Now, second one, let us compare hydrogen. For hydrogen, 8W is equal to 2Z, so 8 multiplied by our W here equals to 1, equals to 2Z. 8 times 1, we have 8 equals to 2z. So we divide both sides by these two. z equals to 8 over 2, which equals to 4. Then we've gotten our w, y, and z. It's meant x. Then let's go for oxygen. Oxygen, 2x is equals to 2y plus z. So 2x is equals to 2 multiplied by our y is 4 plus z is our y is 4, then plus our z that we got here is 4. So we have 2x is equal to 2 times 4, 8 plus 4. 2s is equal to 12. Our x is equal to 12 divided by 2 is equal to what? 6. So x ratio, oh sorry, w ratio x ratio y ratio z. Our W here, from here, is 1. Our X, that we got, 6. Our Y, 4. 
our z four. So coming here, w is one, our x is six, y is four, z is four. And let's look at it. How many carbon do we have here? Four. How many carbon? Four. How many hydrogen? Eight. How many hydrogen? Four times two. Eight. How many oxygen? Six times two. Twelve. How many oxygen is there? Four times two. Eight. Well, this is four. Eight plus four times two. Eight. Eight plus four. We're going to have twelve. Then how many hydrogen is there? Four times two. Eight. Hydrogen here. Eight. So the equation is balanced. Example four. Balance the following chemical equations. So these are the equations. Let us put a letters to each of the compounds. Let's say A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now left hand side, we equals to right and side. What are the elements that we have? Potassium. Manganese, oxygen, then we have hydrogen, then chlorine. Likewise, the same thing here potassium, manganese, oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine. Now, how many potassium do we have here? We have one. One times A, A. How many manganese? One. One times A, A. How many oxygen? Four. Four times A, four A. No more oxygen here. How many hydrogen? And here is one, one times B, B. How many chlorine? One, one times B, B. Likewise here, potassium here is one, one times C, we have C. There's no more potassium again. Manganese, one, one times D, D. Oxygen, one, one times E, we have E. There's no more oxygen apart from that. Hydrogen, here, two, two times E, two E. How many chlorine? Here yeah, one, one times C, C, and that chlorine plus, chlorine here is two, two times D, two D, and that one plus, chlorine here is two, two times F, two F. Now, we need to now equate things. Don't forget, we assume, assume A to be equal to one, which is my first digit. For potassium, A is equal to what? C. So A is one. So my C equals to 1. For manganese, A equals to D. For manganese, A equals to D. So my A is 1. So D equals to 1. For oxygen, 4A equals to E. Oxygen, 4A equals to E. 4 times A is 1 equals to E. So my E equals to 4 times 1 is 4. Okay? For hydrogen, B equals to 2E. Where do you have B and E? I think we have A, we have C, we have D, we have E. Okay, we don't have B. So let's look for hydrogen. Hydrogen equals to B is equals to 2E. So which is B equals to 2 times, my E is 4. Which is equals to 2 times 4? 8. So I have my A, I have my B, I have my C, I have my D, I have my E. So here's my F. So let's come to the last one. CL. B is equal to C plus 2D plus 2F. So B, my B here is 8. Equals to my C is 1 plus 2 multiplied by my D. You have my D? Okay, my D equals to 1 plus 2F. I don't have my head. That's what I'm looking for. 8 equals to 1 plus 2 times 1, 2 plus 2f. So 8 equals to 1 plus 2, we have 3, plus 2f. Take this here. So 8 minus 3 equals to 2f. 8 minus 3 gives 5. 5 equals to 2f. So the Bible start by 2. My f equals to 5 over 2. Now we find the ratio. A, ratio B, ratio C, ratio D, ratio E, ratio F. What is my A? We have 1. Ratio my B eight my C C equals to one D D equals to one E E equals to four 
f equals to 5 over 2. So let's say over 1 over 1. Now, the answer of everything here is 2. Multiply through by 2. 2 times 1 over 1. 2 times 8 over 1. 2 times 1 over 1. 2 times 1 over 1. 2 times 4 over 1. 2 times 5 over 2. 2 cancel 2. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 4, 8. And 5. So let us fix these letters. Let's move this A. My A is 2. B is 16. My C, that is 2. D, that is 2. My E is 8. Likewise, my F equals to 5. Now, let's look if it's balanced. We have 2 potassium here. 2 potassium. 2 manganese. 2 manganese. What's in here? 2 times 4, 8. What's in here? 8. Hydrogen, 16. Hydrogen here, 8 times 2, 16. Chlorine, 16. Chlorine here is 2. Chlorine here, 2 times 2, 4. 4 plus 2, that is 6. So we have chlorine to be 6 here. Why chlorine here, 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 6, making 16. You can see it's 16. So this one is balanced as well. So this is the second method of balancing chemical equations. If you have any equation that proves stubborn, this is the best method to, to remove it. So, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. And that will get subsequent and interesting videos like this.